it's such good fun. Um, and this time round, everything's a bit more, a bit more grittier. We've been through the wars a bit, so the the uh, the armor's all a bit bashed up and um, sort of lived in. Um, but uh, no, it's great. It's great to be um, to be you know revisiting and uh, and carrying on. We're fighting individually. I mean, in different parts of uh, of, of the landscape. So um, we're each having our own. Battle. So we, we've sort of. Uh, it's not just uh, the Warriors Three. Like in in the first one in Jotunheim, we were with Thor and the Warriors Three and Sif and Thor were fighting together as a collective. This way we are, but we are in completely different areas, and we're waging our own uh, fight with uh, where, you know whatever adversaries are, are around us and what have you. So you get to see, I think, a lot more of uh, the individual reveal of of their of their various styles and what have you, and um, and you know the, what they what they bring to their own battles. I think the wonderful thing about Chris is, and credit to. Obviously, uh, Ken Branner as well. Uh, in the first one, when he was banished to Earth, and he was effectively stripped of his 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 powers, his god powers, you never once doubted that he was Thor, a god, even though he had no powers whatsoever. That is such a razor's edge to walk because if you just miss, if you get it wrong, if you step off that line, whole film's done, whole movie's done. And it's a tight, it's a real razor's edge, tightrope razor's edge that you, that, and uh, it takes a, it takes a special kind of uh, team and a special type of type of actor to be able to embody that, and you never, um, you never lose your uh, your your complete belief in in what he's doing. We did a lot, awful lot of training. Um, it's amazing. You come in and the stunt team have already thrown out ten times of what the fight itself is. So you, you know, I so appreciate what they're doing. Um, the hardest thing is to try and get some semblance of how it's going to feel when you because you can't practice straight away with that armor. So you you kind of even though you're in sort of like you know gym slacks and a, and a t-shirt, you kind of still you've got this exaggerated extended movements because you know full well you can't dance around like a ballerina because as soon as you put this on all those moves won't work so and then you get bits of the costume come through um and you know they they're great i mean with any action movie the stunt stunt guys make the make the movie and these guys have just been phenomenal to work with and to you know uh, every day up and at them up and at them up and at them and um so credit to them big big credit to them alan's got this almost childlike delight in uh, in getting right in amongst it and understanding uh, a, a much sort of more warrior, uh, or, or not more, but the warrior aspect of what is involved in this story. So um, his readiness to actually throw the camera in amongst it and um, uh, and and put that on screen is is just tremendous. And you can just tell. From the, we got when I arrived. We had, the, we had our meeting and he's in the office and all behind him is all the illustrations of the new sets and the new movie. And he's there going, this is going to be fun. You know, and you just tell and, you know, you, with that enthusiasm, um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's like, it's a comradeship. It's a collaboration and you, you do feel very much that you're in a collaboration with him.